Hello and happy 2024. Welcome to Stammerun with me, John. I am the Stammerer on uh, my podcast on Spotify, um, so feel free to check that out. Today, I wanted to kick off 2024 um, with a video about um, something that the reason why I got into this in the first place is um, a stammer and um, some people have been um, up to no good this week so let's find out so last week um, our dear friend across the pond um, Mr Trump um, decided to make a speech and this was in the show center um, and it was in response to um, the president um, so Joe Biden who made a speech and as we know or maybe you weren't aware that he has um, a stammer and you know I watch him speak and take an interest in him not because of uh, the politics but just because I um, admire a person who or people who manage to put their fears aside and has managed to get to a place where you know he is the leader of one of the biggest countries in the entire world so you know that has to be respected even though you may not agree with the policies or the country for example now he obviously did um, a speech himself and then Trump's retort and response was to basically discriminate and make fun of Mr Biden. I'll either put, um, I'll either play the tape now or put something up there. That's why Crooked Joe is staging his pathetic fear-mongering campaign event in Pennsylvania today. Did you see him? He was stuttering through the whole thing. He's got a bob, got a, he's a threat to democracy. I'm a th- <laughs> They've weaponized government. He's saying, I'm a threat to democracy. He's a threat to da, da, democracy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't read the word. He's a threat to democracy. You know how bad the press is? You know what they do? They take me saying that like that. And they say, Trump couldn't say the word democracy. Look, no, that's what they do. So, listening to that, um, you know, as um, a person who is passionate about the subject of discrimination and who has um, a stammer himself who, who fights that every single day you know it's impacted um my kind of mental health over the years and i'm sure that there are so many people out there and i just i would love to feel outraged and i don't believe a, a response from people should should meet an angry response i don't believe that trump should get an angry response and nobody will care about me or this um but if one person does then that's amazing but you know i don't believe we should meet people like trump and anybody else and the hyenas in the background that that you can hear and they they think this is really really funny um you know i I don't meet this with anger i meet this with i just feel really really badly that you don't understand and especially coming from a man who is alleged to have cheated hidden um you know he's under subpoena you know potentially could go uh to prison you know is thinks it's funny to to make fun of somebody who has um a stammer you know and and i ask trump i ask all the people that were there who 
or who people who have made uh, comments who agree with the thing that he did, um, would you laugh at somebody who is in um, um, a wheelchair? You know, would you laugh about a person who has a single leg or an arm or you know has something physical or something that you can actually see? And like the difference between the two, there isn't really one. And you may not agree with that, um, but from a personal perspective, and all I can really do to conf to convey it is that having um, a stammer for me has impacted me, has stopped me from doing things. So I might as well have at times not had any legs or any arms because I've been so blunted by it and you have to work and you have to practice and you have to try to get through um, your life every single day and you know I would sort of try to cut out um, uh, the videos just to try to edit some of the things out but today I'm going to try not to do that because why should I try to hide um, the stammer when you've got leaders of the free world who are a former leader who has a platform of millions and millions of people who has a responsibility even though he may not like the president even though you know he 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 has his own thoughts and feelings on stuff he has a responsibility to not you know to not make fun of people who are not as advantageous as him because he's clearly perfect you know to to um you know you you you, you I, I just don't understand why the media are not try, uh, haven't made more of this and the reason why they haven't is because in their eyes once again it's just um a stammer and 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 it just goes to just goes to it just goes to show to show me that again in 2024 we're still having to deal and we're still having to put up with the fact that there are things that society deem as more of a discrimination against the discrimination so what i mean is that you know there are levels to people's minds whereby if you are if you have one leg or you're in um a wheelchair or you have a scar or you are um a transgender person for example because that's in the news you know it is out there okay and there seems to be this this thing where you can discriminate against some things but not against um, the, another thing if i was to if i was to make fun of a child in um a wheelchair for example i would be the worst thing human in the whole world i'd be i'd be evil i would be horrible if i used the wrong um the pronoun to a person i could be accused of um assault you know i i again i would be this inhuman person because instead of you know assigning the person you know um a mister when they could be um a miss i would be tried to be cancelled but it's okay for a president or a former president to physically actually it's there for everyone to see to make fun of somebody who stammers which is a disability it is a disability but that's okay and nothing more is said you know if i was to make fun of a child with um a stammer what would happen probably not a lot but the, you know and in 2024 trump just absolutely 
just absolutely highlights highlights the need for this year for something to be done something to change you know whether the discrimination is against um your gender you know your 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 weight your color your being able to walk being able to talk it's all the same it, it, you know it, it, it has to change it really really has to change and make 2024 the year that we tried to promote this change so as much as trump has um sort of annoyed me um this year in 2024 um there is a positivity um around um an actress um emily blunt um and if you don't know her um you know she is a an she's amazing um and she had has i don't know if she hides it or not or she has um um a stammer um and you know if, if you were to and i've seen her films you know you you absolutely couldn't tell and i've watched um interviews with her um and you know the ways that she dealt with um her stammer to have a career and you know she is an inspiration um to women to men you know an absolute you know as an as an as an actress you know she is um amazing you know, if you've seen the quiet place um i think the girl on the train and you know the, there's 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 so much uh, you know that and, and she's fantastic so what she wants to do is she wants to make a film about people who have um um a stammer she wants to promote that and she wants to make a film about something so so something similar to an um to an Oppenheimer um i think that's you know the kind of plan and i and i implore i absolutely implore anybody who wants to make a film um about it you know um you know i think we all have um our stories i mean i have mine um my story is in um the the metro um and on the stammer site um you know i wrote a piece for them on my experiences and the reason why um i stammer and you know it's to highlight you know it, it, it's more of a therapy piece um for me to sort of begin to to heal and to try to you know to get the story out there to people and maybe touch and try to you know to to try to help um so what emily wants to do you know is she wants to make a film um and i you know i really employ if, if there's anybody kind of out there who you know wants to make a film you know it doesn't have to be her you know if there's anybody that wants to to do something around it you know because we sort of need it and i think we definitely need it more than ever i think in 2024 i think we we, we definitely need to promote this more you know you know be up on people's eyes and just continue to be there you know and organizations like um stammer for example you know they do they do a lot you know they 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 promote a lot you know you can you can you can join them for free you know there's a lot of amazing stuff that they do you know there's an ad an advocacy um arm now that they have where they're trying to help people who get discriminated in work trump i hope you're watching that you know and giving advice to um a workplace for people who do have um a stammer and they just offer so much advice and there's a helpline as well so you know there are so many organizations um out there um as well so i, I i'd love people to come together to try to do something um around this i know there is the uh stammer fest where people come together but i just sort of feel that we kind of need that but we also need more you know we we we, we need um 
you know, something big. And I, I don't know what that is. You know, there are millions of people um, who stammer. And, you know, I almost feel like we need to come together to stammer a mass. Um, and people just need to accept that. So I hope um, Emily Blunt um, is can get this um, up and over. And, um, you know, anyone out there that can help her, please do. Um, and that's my sort of run over for especially Trump. Um, and yeah, 2024, uh, feel free to... Um, to like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, please feel free to uh, to comment. You know, um, if you can, if you can promote this um, the platform that I want to create is one where um, you know it's open. And if people want to come on to the show or people want to send me stuff to promote themselves, you know, I'm happy to promote that as well. So I want to give people um, a voice. It can be quite um, a scary thing but we all have something to say so if you want to speak to me or you want to send me something I'm more than happy to put it on here and use the platform as um, a voice for people that don't have a voice um, and on that note thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one